Last week, I got this USB. I was filming in LA with some streamers and one of them happened to be Nick830. After we filmed, we were all talking when Nick kind of pulled me aside and slipped me this USB drive. And I was like, Nick, what is this? And he told me there was something on it that I needed to see. So when I got back, I plugged it into my PC to check it out. Okay, what is this? Epic Games. Is this some kind of employee document or file? What's going on here? Huh? What the hell? Wait, this is every season of Fortnite. It's got it's got a lot of stuff in it. Battle Pass Math Marketing. Wait a minute. Chapter five, season one. Is this real? Wait, what? 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 Okay, okay, we should not be looking at this. Hold up. Collaborations. Huh. Icon series. Oh, they got all the icons. Wait, they got typical gamer here as well. They have me. What do they have on me? Rocket Wars. Oh, shoot. Super City. Well, I guess they know. I guess we got to announce it. Okay, guys, obviously this is not an Epic Games USB, but we have been working so hard for the past few months on this project, and now I am ready to launch it. I've created Super City, and trust me, this is gonna be crazy. So let's check out this trailer and see what it's all about. Here Welcome we go. Welcome to Super City, where you can become a superhero. Oh, look at that. Start at the HQ, pick your hero, battle other players we have to level six up. Six different heroes you can pick from. World boss. Oh, shit. A boss fight has appeared, and it's your job to get powerful enough to take Look. him down. If you do, you get a special drop as a reward. But you'll also want to be on the lookout for the secret drop. With you know we had to throw that in there. Chance. You know we had we to throw that in there. We created this custom boss fight along with six different superhero abilities in UEFN. Look out for each hero sick, all around the, the city and a custom personal superhero sidekick to assist you in your journey. Quest accepted. You'll need all the help you can love get. It, love it, love it. This world boss is just the first of many seasons of I'm content. I'm telling you, we got a lot of plan. We got a lot of plan. Challenge, I invite you to join the other heroes in Super City World Boss. Okay, we got to check it out. Let's hop in. Guys, we absolutely cooked with this map. I wanted to make a superhero map. So we created six unique superhero classes and I'm gonna buy this one right here, Spider Striker. Uh, and in about 14 minutes, there is a world boss that we're gonna fight. So I'm gonna show you every single class of what it can do before we have to fight the boss. Now we're gonna go into the upgrade powers room. Each hero has its own upgrade room. So this is our base power, Super Slinger, which is the grapple glove, which we already have. And now we have Super Jump, which I'll show you how that works outside. Increase health, upgrade your health. Our current health is 100, 100, 150 health, and then Toxic Siphon. Now, here's the thing. We actually can't purchase this one because it requires diamonds and gold, and you get diamonds from defeating the world boss. So we're gonna have to not purchase that one for now. This is the HQ, it's safe zone, but once you go out, you can start fighting players. Now we have the spider striker abilities. There's the grapple glove going in. And we have our super jump, which is going to allow us to land right behind this guy. And every time you kill players, you get gold. I just got 30 gold for killing that guy. That someone just stole my kill. Here we go. Here we go. All right. All right. We're going to go back in. All right, so now we go for Eagle Eye, and I'm not going to lie. This one is one of my favorites because it reminds me of when I used to be a Nightblade all the way back in the day because this is a very sneaky kind of class. So passive upgrades, instant reload, damage dealer, and ambush. And Eagle Eye is actually the only hero that has access to sniper rifles and bows, and a lot of his passives have to do with this. So super damage, we're going to have boosted damage. Ambush crouch, turn invisible when crouching. This this one's cool. So as soon as you crouch, you turn completely invisible. Increased damage, and then exclusive weapon. We're gonna need diamonds for that, so we'll skip that for now. All right, all right. You slide into the invisibility, so it's really cool. And you stay invisible until you shoot someone. Once you shoot someone, it pulls you out of invisibility, but you can go right back into it. 
So you don't have insane mobility on this class, but you do a lot of damage. 375 to the body or to the head. 150 to the body. That extra damage boost goes so crazy. 150, that person's not dead. Gotta go back invisible. Now you can take damage while you're invisible, so you do have to be careful. But you can slide. He doesn't know where I'm at. There we go. Quick shot right there. Okay, that one is personally one of my favorites. I love the invisibility, but we're going to refund and check out another character. We're going to check out Super Guy. Okay, so with Super Guy, you can actually fly. You just have to jump up, and now I am in creative mode. But let me go upgrade my powers on Super Guy. Super Flight, increased damage, shield regen, and then there's a shield boost as well. We got the hammer. We got the shields. Okay, now we can fly. Now, the thing is, when you're flying with uh, Super Guy, you can't ADS, so you kind of kind of have to hip fire a shot. So maybe uh, the burst rifle is not the right gun for this. And the hammer is great because you can fly right up to them and just hit them with the hammer. Now, if you want to get the damage with the hammer, you kind of have to be a little bit more direct. And you got to be careful because people can shoot you. Now, look, look, look at me flying with this shield out. This is perfect. I'm going to go back through, flying through, flying through. Pop. That guy's dead. Another kill. Okay, you gotta have you gotta have good aim if you want to take out Super Guy. Now we're gonna check out Llama Hulk. This one's like the tank of all the classes. Base power is super strength, shield boost, increase max shields. We have 150 shield, increase max health. There we go. So you might be wondering what does this signal remote do? And because I'm a tank, if I get caught in a sticky situation, I can actually use the remote to become invincible for 15 seconds. Now everybody's shooting me and I literally can't take damage for 15 seconds. And I can still kill people. It's pretty, it's pretty OP, but it has a one minute cooldown. And once it's out, we're kind of in a sticky situation because we don't have a lot of mobility on this character, uh, but we do have like 350 health, so. Oh, dude, this Camaro ray gun actually goes kind of hard. Dude, I'm just, I'm taking all these shots. But you can die. You can die. You just got to be, you got to play a little, little bit smarter. And the cool thing about this map is you can actually see the icon of which uh, hero you have above your health bar. It's right down there. And now we're going to check out Dark Knight, aka Batman. Let's see what Dark Knight has to offer. We're going to get the proximity grenade launcher and the grappler. And uh, don't worry, when this map launches, the grappler will have infinite uses. Of course, there's the base power. But now here, super mobile. Gain access to vehicle garages. The Dark Knight is the only hero on this map which can access the garages and get the vehicles. So we're going to do max shield boost here. And then there is an exclusive weapon for the Batman. But uh, we're going to go ahead and just leave that there for now. And now let me show you what, 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 what I'm talking about here. So there's a garage over here. But I'm actually going to go to a different garage. You'll go to a more chill garage back here. So you walk up to the garage and you can open the garage like this, but you can only do it with the Dark Knight character selected. No other person can open these garages. The cool thing about this car is it's fast. It's a good way to get around the city and complete quests. And um, we're working on making this thing do a lot of damage, but let me see how much damage I can do if I try to run someone over right now. A little 79 damage love tap. Oh, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. We got to get to the last hero here. We're going to refund. Blitz has been purchased. There we go. Gain health while running. This is perfect for Blitz. Increase speed. Even more speed. And there's a shield boost. And if you're wondering how to get gold, of course, you get gold from killing the boss and killing players. But there's also quests that you can speed up this process. Okay, we got the infiltrate the vault at the bank quest. So we're going to go to the bank right now. And we're using flash, which is going to allow us to just really run through the entire map extremely fast. This isn't a very superhero thing to do, but maybe super villains will be involved in the next update of Super City. And of course... We got some bad guys pulling up to stop us. Oh my God, these guys do a lot of damage. So now that we completed the quest, we got some gold and you can repeat quests over and over to farm up gold to unlock the heroes that you want. All right, the boss fight is starting in about eight seconds. The portal will open up and then all the heroes can go inside. And for the sake of this, I'm gonna drop all my heals. I don't, I don't want any heals. I'm just gonna keep the peppers just for the speed boost. 
And now we're going to go and fight the world boss. So here's the world boss. He's kind of scary. He has three unique attacks. Each attack will require you to do something to dodge the damage. So when the arrows are pointing down, you have to be crouched. And when the arrows are pointing up, you actually have to jump right as he does his attack. So we're going to crouch for this one. Now he's doing his up attack. We're going to jump over that, not take any damage. As you can see, some players took damage because they got hit by it. Be warned, when you play this map, the boss will do a lot more damage than he's doing right now. This is just a beta version of the map. And honestly, guys, I've wanted to play a superhero game ever since I was a kid. I remember playing DC Universe Online on the PlayStation 3. There hasn't really been a lot of superhero games that have come out ever since then. So why not create my own with my own team? And honestly, I'm super, super happy with how this has come together. And I still have so many ideas for this map to bring to the table. New seasons, new heroes and abilities, new boss fights, and a lot of ways to really elevate UEFN. Here we go, the boss is about to die. Round complete. Everybody will be awarded a diamond once the boss is complete. And you can use that diamond for special upgrades and temporary power boosts, and of course, a very rare diamond for a ultimate power ability that will only last for a few minutes. Guys, go check out Super City right now in Fortnite Creative and let me know what you think.